I'll write problem nine gives us the graph of the function f of x and asks us to graph the derivative. And the first thing that sticks out to me is that, um, and so if you look at the graph that's actually given, they have like some grid lines. So I should point out that this is the point negative three zero. This appears to be the point negative three, uh, sorry, negative one comma three. What else sticks out to me here? Um, we also seem to have the point four comma one right here. I don't think all these are super important, but these are just kind of things I happen to notice. Um, so I want to find the derivative. So notably, this point here is kind of pointy, right? It's going from here and then up like that. So at that point here, the derivative is not going to exist. But to the left here, it's definitely a straight line. And from this point, negative three, zero, to this point, one, comma, sorry, negative one, three, I've gone over two and up three. So my slope is uh, positive three halves, right? The rise is three, the run is two. So to the left of negative one, I know that my slope is positive three halves. So starting at negative one, but actually not including that, you get the line y equal to three halves. And then from here, the slope is very slightly positive. Right? It looks like it's almost zero, but it's a tiny bit bigger than zero. So from here, maybe we're like way down here. Sorry, but not inclusive. And then the slope is getting, it looks like it's actually getting lesser, right? The slope kind of up until about right, I don't know, it looks like about right at two, the slope start, goes from being positive to starting to be negative. So from here, we're gonna kind of go down until we get to two and be zero. So I don't know how this looks exactly. Maybe it does something kind of like this. And then after two, we start being slightly negative and then more and more negative until we get to be about the most negative, maybe right about, uh, maybe maybe right before four, like maybe at 3.5. It's kind of, it's again, it's not super easy to tell, but I would say maybe at one, two, three and a half, we get to be the most negative. So it's gonna be kind of down like that. And then after that, we're being less and less negative until we get to what it looks like to be about five comma one half. So at five, one, two, three, four, five, we're gonna start being positive again. And then after that, we're slightly positive and then kind of the most positive we get to be about right there. So that looks like it occurs at about, I would say that's probably in about seven, so five, six, seven. So right there, we get to be the most positive. Oh, that doesn't look, that doesn't look quite as smooth as I want it to look. So maybe like there. And then after that, the graph kind of starts to peter out and starts to kind of have a less and less slope. It's not exactly killer. So I would probably just say it kind of starts to be like this. But again, we don't really know. So that's the best we can probably do with what's given. That's problem nine.